Hi, welcome to another 80 survival skills video. Today we are going to be making the traditional uh, Chinese steamed chicken. It's really a poached chicken and this is one of those uh, items that are very easy and very little work to prepare and you get quite a bit of food out of this. So I'm going to start by getting a whole chicken and this is about 4.8 pounds and you want to simmer it in a big pot of water for about a minute per pound. So I'm going to I'm going to do I'm going to simmer this for about 50 minutes. So I have a pot of water here that is that is boiling. I have some shiitake mushrooms in here. And I'm going to slowly put this in. Make sure it goes all the way it, it cover the all the water covers it. And I'm going to bring this up to a boil before I, I turn the fire down to a simmer. And I'm going to add a little salt in here. In the soup. Not much. And it's coming up to a boil, so I'm going to cover this. I'm going to bring this to a simmer. Okay, now we're moving on to the sauce that we're going to make to go with the chicken. While that chicken is cooking, I have the timer set for 50 minutes. I'm going to put it aside. I'm going to first cut the green onions. I'm going to cut it really nice and small. You don't have to cut it that small. You, um, unless you want to. In fact, you could even put it in a blender or some sort of food processor to get this done. Now, the ginger, you typically could um, run this through a grater, but I'm going to go the, easy, uh, the lazy way out. I'm just going to use a knife so I don't have to wash a grater. So I'm going to cut them into thin pieces first. I don't have to cut the whole thing. I'm going to stack them up, like a stack of cards. And I'm going to put them real nice and thin. And I'm going to turn them the other way. I'm going to try to slice them into little mince pieces. Does not have to be perfect. Again, this is where you want to make it easy for yourself. This is designed so for people that you just got off work and they're trying to prep dinner. And that's it. all we need is maybe about a teaspoon of salt. Okay, this is starting to smoke, as you can see, and then we're going to hit that oil up to here. And that's how we make And this is going to be the sauce you're going to use to dip the chicken in. I'm using the spatula to slowly remove the chicken from uh, the boiling water. Be careful, don't let the water hit your hand again, it's pretty hot. Um, drain the, uh, turn the chicken sideways so that you could drip all the water out and um, let it cool for 30 to as long as an hour. Now we're going to start cutting the chicken and I'm not going to do it um, like a traditional Chinese restaurant because it involves a lot of cutting through the bone and, and I don't want people to take the chance of cutting their fingers off. So I'm going to cut the wings. And I'm going to just cut it through the 
joint. As you can see, a lot of the juices are coming out, and some of the soup that was still in the chicken is coming out. That's why it's nice to have one of these chopping boards with um, with a little groove in there to, to pick up some of that. And as you can see on our plate, I have blanched some uh, gai lai, which is a Chinese-style uh, broccoli in the same um, broth that I have been um, cooking uh, the chicken in. So now I'm gonna separate, instead of hacking through the bone, I'm just going to cut out the breast meat. does not have to be perfect. We want to make things easy. And this is one of the easier thing to do. Just you could use a thinner knife if you like. Put this here. And we'll cut these into a little smaller pieces. Put this one too. on here that we have made earlier. And, and voila, we have a complete meal. Another thing to the um, Chinese broccoli and this is um, oyster sauce. And this is the Lee Kang Ki premium oyster sauce. And this is the only one you should use because this is by far the best tasting. We'll add a little peanut oil to this. Try not to use um, olive oil because it, it, it does not really mix with this uh, oyster sauce that well. So there you have it, a very quick and easy, it's not quick, but it's a very easy way of prepping a really good meal for um, very little work. And the rest of the chicken carcass, you could either throw this back in the soup or try to debone it yourself. Or, but as you can see, this, this presents very nicely. Thank you for watching.